All right, finally, we are joined by head coach Seb Hines. Seb, just give us your initial thoughts after um, hard fought victory today in Seattle. I think most importantly, the win, the win um, away from home as well. It's something that we talked about last year is picking up more points away from home. Um, I thought the first 43 minutes of the game, we were really good. I thought we played some terrific football, played for the Lions, caused Seattle a lot of problems. And to concede um, so late on in the first half is something that we need to um, reflect and review uh, moving forward. And then the second half, I mean, it, it was a grind. It was a, a great determination um, going through that adversity as well, conceding so early on in the second half to come back and, and get that third goal was really important for us. And yeah, we just continued that momentum. I think it's now seven wins on the run. Uh, which is really nice. It's um, it, it's it's pleasing to see that everything is starting to come together. But we have a lot of room to continue to improve on. Go on, Austin. Deb, you mentioned it. Seven straight wins for this team ties a record for NWSL for most consecutive wins. To go from where this team started last year and the the struggles that they had to now having the success that they've had to winning seven straight. I mean, how proud are you of this team for, for the the growth that they have shown over the last year? Yeah, massive. Um, you know, going into this game today, we spoke to the players of how it felt two years ago, coming here and losing and, and Seattle winning the Shield. And, you know, those memories stick in your mind. And there were some players who were here at this point and, you know, they felt today was a great opportunity to come back here um, in Seattle and, and get three points. So they used that as fuel. Of course, we've come a long way. Uh, a lot of credit has to go to the players because of their their personality, their character that they've shown um, this year. You know, there's a, there's a lot that's gone against us and they've just continue to work and grind it out and be together in every every moment so I'm really pleased of their their character um within this seven game stretch and even going back to last year you know you know losing the first four games in 2023 was not easy but after that we we went on you know a good run and and so we've just continued that and yeah it's uh it's, it's nice to see that it's uh, continuing and yeah, we're not done yet. We want to go out on Friday in front of our own fans and make it eight. So there's a lot of excitement around this team as well. Through the first 10 games of this season, you've scored in every single one. Uh, what does that show in just in terms of the, the growth of the consistency of this team offensively to be able to find the back of the net in every single game so far this season? Well, goals win games, and so we make it a priority of ours to score, uh, whether it's the first goal or last goal. You know, you have to you have to put yourself in uh, areas to score the goal. So getting the early goal really settled the team down. I thought, you know, we uh, we played some really good football today. I was really pleased with the with the football and how we used everyone in our build up. The 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 character and personality and um, desire to try and play even in this environment where it's difficult to come and, and get anything, you know, they, they show what they're capable of doing and it takes everyone to buy into it. And so, yeah, I think Seattle's first goal really changed um, the emphasis of the game because I felt, you know, if we had got that third one and uh, that got disallowed, I think, you know, it, we would have been talking very differently at the end of the game. Speaking of, of goals winning games, the, the first goal you guys scored today came from, from Emily. Um, what did it mean to see her find the back of the net in the fashion that, that she did? Yeah, she, she finished it like a forward, um, some would say. So yeah, em, Emma's done brilliant, you know, having to, to shift into a new position and she's embraced it. Um, I think some of her 1v1 dependence has been brilliant um, recently and so, you know, she gets her reward for going up uh, and supporting the attack, and it's it's a lovely finish uh, with a with a left foot. Um, so yeah, it was it was a great goal from them, and you know, if she continues to play that position at right back, maybe there's a few more down the stretch of the season. 
this was the the first game since Barbara joined the team that Barbara, Audrey, and Marta all started together. Having that, you know, contingent of attacking players being able to start and and build that chemistry within each other. What does that mean for for you and and just as the season goes on to be able to have that strong of an attack all all playing together? No, it's nice. It's a it's a pleasure to to be able to choose those type of players to come out and play. It's only going to take time for them to really um, gel and and have an understanding on how each other plays. Like you said, it's the first time they've started a game together. Um, but also, there's there's some really good players who you know got left out today. Julie has to come on at half time. Ali Watt comes on later on in the game. You know, Summer um, Yates has been terrific all season. So. Yeah, there's a lot of competition for places, and and uh, like I said today, in, the, in that first fight three minutes, we were we were brilliant. Um, but we have to be consistent. We have to punish teams when we're in those positions, and I think we have to find that other side of us to be ruthless in the attack. And I think once we find that, I think you know games can can finish you know early than uh, you know ninety nine minutes of football. So. Yeah, it's it's a it's a process. Um, we're still in that that uh, you know phase of our season where we're still uh, adapting and still getting to know each other. And you know, it's nice to see that we're not satisfied on where we are right now. I know we're top of the table, but there's still a lot of growth for this team that we continue to to show uh, moving forward. So yeah, it's a long season and. Uh, yeah, we just got to keep going and, and keep that hunger amongst the group. And we will go ahead and wrap up with uh, Dan. Go ahead. Thank you, Seb. Uh, you made reference a little while ago to a lot of things working against you so far this season. I'm wondering if you could expand on that a little bit. Yeah, I just, you know, we, we go through um, a lot of adversity through games. I don't think we get some of the calls, but that's normal. That's that's how it is sometimes. But you know, the the players keep a, a a straight head. They know their task. They know what they need to do. We hold our own destiny. We uh, we can only control what we can control. Um, and sometimes we use that as fuel. Um, and so, yeah, it's just those moments in games that aren't going our way. But yeah, we continue to work and grind out results. And obviously you knew, we all knew how good Barbara was when she came in. Has it been surprising how much better it seems like she's made other players almost immediately? Yeah, like you said, we knew what we were getting here and we knew that that was a, an area that we needed to invest in. And so it, it's lovely to see that she's fitted in right at home um, this early in the season and early in her career. I think the challenge for Barbara is moving forward is that she's probably got a target on her back and and so teams are fully aware of what she's capable of doing and so i think with her personality and her character she'll embrace that um every game and so yeah it, we got to continue to do a job of finding her i think you know that second goal was brilliant how adri just puts in a really dangerous area and barbara's there just to tap it in and so we have to continue to to find those moments and uh yeah, if we do that, you know, Barbara could be looking at a lot of goals this year. Have you noticed yet opponents changing what they've done since she's been in the league or are we not quite there yet? No, absolutely. I think um, going back to the Bay FC game, how you know resilient they were to, to keep the ball out the net, the desire, the determination to only keep it at one now, even today, it was, you know, you've got a player like Alana Cook coming back into the team. Um, and so, yeah, I think I think every centre back in this league will look in, will be looking to to show what they're capable of, of doing against one of the best forwards in the league. And so, that's the challenge that Barbara has uh, in front of her this year. Great, thank, thank you, Seb. Yeah, there's always.